me just uh, start by saying some quick things. Um, I have had a lot of YouTube ideas and I've had just a lot of sh stuff. <laughs> a lot of stuff happened in the past uh, couple weeks. So I haven't really been posting anything just because I don't want to upload trash content and I want to make sure that it's like what you guys actually want. So, I today am going to talk about a couple things. Um, if you hear a whistle after every time I talk, it's because of my uh, retainer I have. So, I'm sorry. So, let's just start by this. I got my braces off. And, um, I'm going to tell you about that experience because it was so much more than I thought it was. So I at first go in to getting them off and I sit down and at first they have to put a, uh, you can't see it, I'd, I'd show you but you really can't see it, a permanent retainer in the bottom of my mouth that only goes to my teeth, it's like only attached to my teeth so it's not like the ones where you like that metal right there, it's not that. It's just a little piece of metal on the inside of my mouth. So they do that and they put like cheek retractors in and God, it's like I got a million things going on in my mouth. So, after all that, okay. So after all that and then they start taking off my brackets which I thought were, I thought that was really gonna hurt and it didn't hurt at all. Like, my taking them off like it really didn't hurt it was just like pulling them off and then after you pull it back you took everything off the worst part was the um having to get the glue off like that was holding the brackets down so they basically just took this like sander that was like the thing was like this the size of like a needle like that it was like the size of like a needle head and they took that and just basically got all the glue off. And that, that was the longest part, like getting all that glue off. So after that happened, they got the glue off, they cleaned them and stuff like that. And then I had to go do impressions for um, my upper and bottom. Like they just did two impressions, which you don't know what impressions are. It's like a tray and they fill it with like this goo that tastes like Play-Doh. And they put it in your mouth. So, after they do these, like, impressions of your teeth, so they just put this goo in your mouth, I mean the tray, and then they stick it up in your mouth. And it's, it's kind of, it's kind of a lot. Like, it is because I, like, I threw up on her. Like, when she did the top of my teeth, because I have horrible, like, gag reflexes, and it just felt like it was going down my throat. So, I literally just threw up all over her and I felt so bad that I did that but she was and I had I was throwing up and she still had to keep it in my mouth so like I was throwing up and basically it was just sitting in my mouth it was the grossest thing ever so she gets done with that and I rinse my teeth and I get my life back together and then she says that I'm good they took a couple more pictures of my teeth and I don't have to go back to I don't have to go back till like November 13th, something like that. So that's my next time I have to go back. But, so, they had a little bracket on the inside of my mouth. Like on the inside of my teeth. Not like here, but it was like on the inside of my back tooth. And that bracket was covering a filling. So when they took that bracket off, it took my filling out. And so now there's just this hole right in the back of my tooth, like on the inside. And I um, have to, I had to wait to make sure they were done with all this in my mouth before I could get that filling. So I literally had to go to CVS and get an emergency like fill kit. It doesn't, do not do this. It's just temporary until I go get it actually fixed. Like don't just use this and then never get your teeth filled because it does not clean the infection out it's just there so that way when you eat or drink things it doesn't constantly hurt 
So that's what this is for until I get into the dentist. With probably another next week or the week after is probably when I'm going to go in. So I got that. So life without braces has been super weird. So I'll take this out to show you. I'm sure you saw all that spit. This is my retainer. It looks like Invisalign and it basically is. It's called an aligner. And this is what my teeth look like. So, I leave this in all the time except when I eat. And I only take it out when I shower because that's when I like uh, soak it in cleaner and stuff and let it like clean. That's really the only time I take it out or right now to show you. But I only take it out to eat. Other than that, it's in and it's going to stay in. And they have a couple more spaces like this. I know it's not that big of a deal, but that will be closed. Yeah. And that's all you do is you pop it right back in. And that's why I sound different. It's because there's like, uh, obviously it doesn't go all the way to my mouth. So there's spaces in the retainer itself. So when I talk, it's like air goes through it. And my tongue doesn't hit the roof of my mouth the right. It hits my retainer. So it's just constantly making that sound like I have a lisp or that little whistle sound which kind of sucks but um life without braces is really good I ate saltwater taffy which I was that was like the first thing I ate which I was super excited about um corn on the cob and it's really it but like it's all been great like life without braces is super great like, brushing my teeth does not take nearly as long. Like, I still brush my teeth for like two minutes. But, um, usually it would take me almost five minutes. Because I would literally, like, I was so scared of getting stains in my teeth that when I'd brush my teeth, I had to brush my teeth like seven times. It's just a habit of mine. I just had to do it. So, it doesn't take nearly as long because I don't have to individually go and clean all the brackets. All I have to do is really, like brush my teeth and floss and flossing is so much easier now too because I'm not having to basically like floss my teeth in between brackets and then also kind of flossing my brackets I'm just flossing my teeth I do have to floss like in between this retainer I'm show you I just don't know if you can see it yeah you can't see it but it's just a piece of metal that goes across my teeth, the bottom. It's glued. So yeah, that's with that. So that my braces and life with braces is without braces is so good. I've had I had them for about two years and six months. I think maybe seven months, but I know at least two and a half years. That's how long I've had my braces, and yeah. I was really ready to get them off, and I was so excited when I got them off. And I'm so sorry I didn't update you guys with it more sooner. I just literally have a million things going on. I also babysit, and I'm basically a nanny. So I'm today, I don't babysit kids this week, but I usually am babysitting kids every single day. So my life has literally been crazy because I cannot do that and watch kids. Like, it's just not, not ideal. So, that's how that's been going. So, yeah, braces are off and life is good. Um, I did some adult things. I bought it. Me and Dylan bought a new mattress because we were sleeping on a futon. And it's, like, 12 years old. So, if you have a mattress and you're, like, literally just seriously, you're so lucky that you have a mattress because we slept on a futon. And it was so bad. And if you know Dylan, I love him. And he's my best friend. And I don't care. I like him just the way he is. But he's obviously bigger than me. And I'm super tiny. But he needs a lot of room because he moves in his sleep. Like, I'm not just talking about, like, this way, this way. He's, like, on his back, on his stomach, on his side. Like, it's crazy. He And he has really big shoulders. So we were sleeping on a, um, I think it was a twin. Or full so now we have a queen so the beds not only is the bed longer and a little bit wider it's also so much more comfortable 
we haven't got like a bed frame for it yet we just have like the box spring and the mattress so that's what we're sleeping on now so we still have to be kind of careful so we don't break it but it's great like that is super awesome that i literally have a bed so adulting's great um dylan's doing good he's still selling cars so life's good there we went to a wedding this weekend and it was my so it's my best for my sister's best friend is ashley and she got engaged to brandon and they've been together since they were literally like 14 15 years old like they've literally been together forever and um they got married this weekend so my sister was a bridesmaid and dylan was my plus one and dylan caught the the garter thing so you know already engaged but you know that's the and also um People always make comments about my rings, saying they're not on the right hand, and I know that, but it's more comfortable right now for me to have them on this hand. I don't know why, and my fingers are super small, so I just put them on the fingers that fit the best, because I have the world's, like, my, my ring size is a three and a half, and this one right here, my actual engagement ring, that is a size three and a half, but the one at the bottom is a four and you can see the difference like how it's bigger versus this one not but i did have another ring and i set it up on my nightstand on my dresser and i can't find it if these two were together where i always put them when i take them off on top of my dresser and i can't find the other one so i don't know if it fell off i don't know where it's at but i lost it so yeah dylan wasn't too happy about that but yeah, that's what has been going on with my life, going on with things. I did a poll on Instagram and I was like, should I turn myself into a visco girl or an e girl? And everybody was saying visco girl and a lot of people were like, do not do that. Do it. Do um, an e girl. And I was like, I didn't know if I actually wanted to do that because I didn't know if you guys would actually watch it or actually care. Because it seems like every time I post about my teeth, that's what gets the most views. So, I can definitely share with you guys more about, like, teeth cleaning and teeth care. And because I'm telling you right now, the one thing people notice about you first is your smile. Like, I could have, like, a giant pimple right here in my forehead. But if I smiled... And my teeth were jacked up. That's the first thing you would notice is my teeth, not my giant. So that's basically what's going on with my life and how things are going. Um, I've just been super excited about life. And I have been also like mentally, I think I've been doing really good. Um, when it comes to um, Dylan and I trying to have a baby, like it's one we live with my parents and I feel like that's enough said so um there's just a lot and I am very scared if, if I'm being honest I'm very scared to try again because it's going through that was the hardest thing and I still am going through it like every day like it was just very difficult and um i am now on my fourth 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 third or fourth cycle and they're being they're normal again like they're just back to the way they were which is really such a good sign but i still get super nervous and super scared and i feel like i'm not all the way healed yet mentally and I don't just want to have a baby because I'm sad or because I want to make sure I'm doing it for the right reason and that I'm ready. And I know I'm never going to be mentally or financially ready, like, enough to have a baby like no one is. And I know my parents and my family will help me out, like, with whatever I need. So, um, I think I'll be okay. I just want to make sure. 
and I am I have really bad anxiety and I have depression so it is really hard like it's very hard to move forward and actually like accept things so that's my life right now and I'm not doing a lot and I'm not really I'm doing a lot but it's not I'm not working like I have like I want to I don't know what I want to do with my life and I'm trying to make sure I do the right thing I want to go to college I think I want to be an elementary teacher so that's just my goals in life and I'm gonna achieve them me and Dylan are saving money it's crazy how much money we're saving. Like we're doing so good in life and we're really trying to be adults and trying to figure life out at the same time. So I'm proud of him and he has honestly been my rock. Like my freaking best friend this whole time through everything. And I really don't know what I would do without him. Like I just, there is no other person like there's no other person. How many times we fight or argue or I scream at him <laughs> or I yell at him and I say sometimes that he's stupid or that I can't stand him. He knows that like deep down and he knows that. He knows that I love him and he knows that I care about him and he knows that he can be stupid and he says dumb things and he just, he's growing as a person too. He's been through a lot in his life so... We both are just growing up and it's it's weird to grow up. It's weird. If you are younger and you are so excited to get your own place and to go to college or graduate or get a car or drive or get married, have kids, I'm telling you, like things like that happen and there's no rush. Like I know life is so short. It literally is so short. But you do have you also have your whole life to do what you want, to make it what you want, like, listen to your parents, go to school, finish school, um, study so hard, be nice, like, be so nice, be nice to people, love them, tell your parents you love them, or your guardian, or whoever you live with, or your spouse, or your significant other, whoever, your best friend, your dog, your cat, your fish, whatever, every day, tell someone that, tell somebody you love them, Tell someone you're there for them or you care for them or even it's just that you look beautiful or you look handsome or you look cute. Like just tell them. Telling you right now makes a world of difference. Be kind to people and I'm telling you, your life will be so much better. If you continuously focus on every bad thing that's going to go wrong and that the world is against you, then you are never going to be happy. Ever. I'm telling you. If you are constantly sad and constantly dreading the next day or... If you are at a job you literally cannot stand, I'm not saying quit it, but look for something else. Find your peace. Find your happiness. You don't have to be in a relationship to be happy. You do not. Be your own peace. Be your own peace of mind. Love yourself. Take care of yourself. And just in all out, be kind to people. Because you never know what a person is going through. Um, I know this talk has been all over the place talking about my teeth and a mattress and random stuff, but I'm just telling you guys that I love you all and I care about you and I, if I for some reason ever get famous for YouTube, I really doubt I will, but for the small audience that I do have and how some of you really like and enjoy my videos and really care about it. I will continue to do this just for you guys and just because I care about you all and I love you all and I'm always here for every single one of you. If you ever need a time to talk or you need someone to talk to, I'm always here. Even when if I have two trillion bajillion followers like our subscribers, I will always be here. Always. So that's the end of this vlog and um, I love you guys. And please, please, please like this video. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Watch some of my other videos. Like them. And um, leave some comments of what you guys want to see because that's what I will do. So tell me what you guys want. Tell me guys what you want to see. And I will 
I will do them or at least try to do them. So I love you all and um, yeah, I will see you guys when I see you.